orbit of it is inter VLAN routing. The mean of inter VLAN routing is that we can provide communication between the different VLAN with the help of the router or layer 3 devices. Now we are considering the we are considering the scenario of the inter VLAN routing. I am taking the router here, router is connected to the switches, switching. On the port of the router, F0 only 0 is connected to the port number 12 of the switch and one PC is connected from the port number 2 of the switch and another PC is connected port number 8 from the switch. The uh, mass PC belongs to the VLAN 20, have the IP address 2001, the masking is 8 bit and the default gateway of uh, that uh, VLAN is 200. And uh, PC belongs to VLAN 80, the IP address is 80001 and the masking is 8 bit and the default gateway is 80000. I am coming to the configuration part of the switch. Go to the config key, global configuration mode, VLAN 2, 20, VLAN 20, name sales, then go to the VLAN 80, name marketing, go to the interface, interface F0 oblique 2. Switch port mode axis, switch port axis VLAN 20, interface F0 oblique 8, switch port mode axis, switch port axis VLAN 80. Now create the trunk, interface F0 oblique 12, switch port mode trunk, speed 100, duplex full. Now come to the router part of the configuration for the inter VLAN routing. Config T. I am going to the router, config T, interface F0 oblique 0, no shutdown. Now I am creating the sub interface for the VLAN 20, interface F0 oblique 0, dash 20, dot 20, encapsulation dot 1Q and then the name of the VLAN in which you want to uh, enter the interface, uh, sub interface F0 oblique 0, dot 20. And apply the IP address 20.0.0.100 masking to 55.0.0.0. And no need of the shutdown on the sub interface because we have already shut down on the physical interface, right? Now interface F0 oblique 0 dot 80 for the VLAN 80. Encapsulation dot 1Q and the VLAN number 80. The IP address 80.0.0.100. The masking is 55.0.0.80. And uh, there is one troubleshooting part is there, if uh, on the sub interface, if you are implementing on the sub interface, if you are implement the IP address before the encapsulation, your router will not take, we remember your router will not take the IP address on the sub interface, first you required, first you will enter the encapsulation dot one queue and VLAN number, then you will apply the IP address. After the configuration on the router and the switch, we will go to the command prompt of the PC that attaches to the port number 2 and we apply the ping command from here from the PC attached to the port number 2 ping 80.0.0.0.1 then we will get the reply if we are getting the reply from this PC if we are ping to this PC it means our router is working for the interval routing concept Thank you so much.